Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jeff, and the following is not Spanish. Hola, ¿cómo está usted? Yo estoy muy bien. Muchas gracias. Soy americano, pero hablo español. Okay, that is not Spanish. The following is Spanish. Hola, ¿cómo está usted? Estoy muy bien, gracias. Soy americano, pero hablo español. Now, what was the difference? One sounded like Spanish, one didn't, right? Why is it that the average American, when they speak Spanish, they sound like they're not? <laughs> Well, I think it's very important that if you want to speak a language that you need to sound like you're speaking the language. The language needs to sound like it would if a native speaker was speaking it. And most people grow up thinking that that's impossible. You know, you have to live in another country or be from another country or your parents be from another country or something has to take place other than the way we would normally learn a foreign language to be able to sound like them. And so people go their whole lives thinking they're not good at it. But I just did it. And let me tell you who I am, by the way. My name is Jeff Martin. I'm a state certified, master certified, I should just say. I just got master certified uh, this month as a Spanish court interpreter. So I interpret in the courtrooms for non-English speaking people that speak Spanish. So in order to do that, I had to pass a really hard test, um, but I achieved the highest level in the state. Now, I didn't grow up in any Spanish speaking country. I wasn't raised by Spanish speaking people. In fact, None of my relatives speak Spanish at all, except my, my brother married uh, a Mexican girl, but you know that was way past the point where I learned Spanish. I learned Spanish on the job, working with um, a lot of Hispanic people, and I was 18 when I started working there. So why is it that I could learn how to speak Spanish and then sound like a native speaker, but you can't? Well, I'm here to tell you, you can, and this is the reason why you sound like an American right now. Chances are, you learned Spanish in school or you got a course or something, which is the normal way you would learn it, right? And on day one, you were taught the alphabet or somewhere around day one. And those letters, you already had assigned sounds to them, language sounds that you had been using for, you know, when did you learn the alphabet? Five years old? Let's say you learned it in kindergarten. That means you had five years of exposure to your native language sounds and learning how to use them and you became pretty fluent using those sounds without being able to read and write and then you learn the alphabet which is basically just a way to draw the sounds that you had already been using. So it wasn't hard for you to learn how to read because you already knew how to speak. Let's take day one of Spanish class. What do you do? Well, first of all, it's pretty much like kindergarten, right? You start with the alphabet, but it's really hard to make new sounds come out of your mouth on day one, first of all. And then number two, to be able to apply new sounds that you can't even pronounce yet to this alphabet that you've been using your whole life with your native language sounds. So when you look at the Spanish alphabet, it's not the Spanish alphabet, it's the American alphabet with some changes in it, and you're gonna use those letters and the sounds that you use for those letters to spell Spanish words. So when you're reading and writing, yeah, it looks like Spanish because you're using the right spelling, but the sounds are not there. Like for example, rojo. That is not, there's not one single letter in that word that sounds like Spanish doesn't even exist and the vowel o in Spanish doesn't sh change its shape like in English we say ro ho with your jaw going down and up ro ho oh yeah the h the h sounding letter which is jota is actually a Spanish sound so you had you got lucky with one there but the point is it's impossible to sound like a native speaker if you are using your own native language sounds so one thing to me um, that I have a problem with is when people say, yeah, I'm fluent in Spanish, but if you were to put them next to a Hispanic person and they were to talk to each other, the American doesn't sound the same as the Hispanic person. One of the main things that characterizes a language is that when one or more people speak it, they sound like they're speaking the same language. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to help you with today is how to improve your pronunciation, we're gonna start with the vowels, okay? One of the biggest mistakes I see non-native speakers make when they're trying to speak Spanish is they make the vowel sounds just like in English, right? For example, listen to this word, taco. I'm not gonna talk about the T and the C right now, just listen to the A and the O, taco. Now, listen to me say it in Spanish, taco. So the A 
every vowel sound that you have when you're using just one vowel in Spanish, your jaw is gonna fix itself. It's gonna stay in a fixed position. Ta, and then co. So let's go through the vowels. In Spanish, it's a, e, i, o, u. Now, if you tried that and you said a, e, i, o, u, and it didn't sound like me, check out your jaw. What's it doing? What's your chin doing? Is it going a, e, i, o, u, like in English? Or is it going a, e, i, o, u? Try to pretend like you're making fun of a Spanish accent or mimicking a Spanish speaker like Speedy Gonzalez. Didn't you ever try to sound like Speedy Gonzalez as a kid? If you do that, you're gonna change which, uh, which part of your speech organs you're using. Like, the sound's gonna start coming from another place. In, in English, when we talk, it's like really like throaty sound. Like, it's really open throat sound, uh, very loose, a lot of glottal stops and glottal sounds and stuff. In Spanish, it's mostly coming up from the upper portion of like the back of your mouth and out through your nose. A, E, I, O, U. Try it slow. A, A, E, I, O, U. Now, for some of you, that might seem very basic, but guess what? <laughs> A lot of things are built upon the fundamentals, right? Without the foundation, you can't build anything. So, practice those vowels today, and tomorrow I'm going to destroy your consonants. Peace.